February 23rd, 215 p.m. Writing Co. Law Offices. Glasses of mine aren't just for show. Let's go! Science awaits us! February 23rd, Prosecutor's Office, Underground Parking Lot. Basically, chemical traces that can be detected when washed away with only water. Huh? What's that grim for? This situation goes from one to two, and that is luminol testing fluid. Luminol? Blood is sticky stuff, you know. You can't just wash it away with a little water. You can't see it, it's still there. But wouldn't the police have already done those tests? Never trust anyone's eyes but your own, Mr. Wright. Give it a try! Me? Why do I have to do it? I'm a minor. I can't even drink yet. Which, which is funny. At the time, because at the time this game came out, uh, the age to buy tobacco in the U.S. was 18. The age to buy alcohol was 21. And just recently, the age to buy tobacco, I believe, has been raised to 21. We're, t we're testing blood stains with this stuff, not drinking it. Here, look, I'll lend you these glasses. Huh? You have an extra pair of those things? Oh, okay. To test for a blood reaction, just spray the little one on it. Like this, see? Test the screen. Just spray it on. Okay, let's find us some blood stains. Actually, click on it or touch it with my sense. I can see her eyes shining behind those glasses. So this is a blood stain. Ah, uh, it's so. Uh. Emma, you're shaking. It's just this is my first time seeing real blood. Scientific investigation and action. Okay. 
Okay. Well, we definitely know that this is a blood stain. But doesn't something strike you as odd, scientifically speaking, of course? Yeah, if he was murdered here, there needs to, there should have been a lot more blood. What's odd about this, scientifically? The amount of blood. The perpetrator and detective fought... And Detective Goodman fought here, right? Do I think there'd be a little more blood? I definitely think so. I mean, look at all the blood on the sole of the victim's shoe. It is pretty strange. If they fought here, there'd be a there'd have to be more blood than this. Uh, hey, Mr. Wright! Add from one very received from one very proud looking in the sky. Can't you check the police will reveal all their evidence in court? Sometimes I fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. Let's drive that hidden evidence out into the light of day. Yeah! It feels like we're really investigating a crime now, doesn't it? I guess I should give this spray on anything suspicious. I wonder how that fluid of yours would react to a nice deadly bots. Miss Star, it probably poisoned it, honestly. You don't trust your own eyes, it's not bad, you two. This day old deadly bots is on the house. Sorry, it's just that kind of doesn't. that kind of bleed doesn't really get my mouth watering. How can I not just. important here. Even if the place I witnessed the events from was different, I still saw what I saw. I saw Chief Prosecutor Sky stab a man in cold blood, and that testimony still stands. Ah. Uh, I swear on my honor as a detective, she stabbed Goodman. I know this photograph has something important to tell us, but what? Picture. So you are a detective, weren't you, sir? Yes, it was a long time ago. Oh, two years ago. No matter how hard the crime, when they faced me, they coughed it up. Coughed it up? They confessed. SL9 incident. SL9? Wait, she doesn't mean...
Why didn't I get the What? I have to present the knife? Oh, what do you think about this? That's all nice. It's coming with a knife in the middle. We're repeating dialogue because it... Because it didn't give me, me the con conversation. I was like, what? 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 <laughs> Did I miss something over here? <laughs> have the option? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why can't I talk about? What? <laughs> February 23rd, High Prosecutor's Office, Room 1202. Well, this, this is a classy... Today is, was yesterday. Yeah, I'm sure it'll still be yeah, just as classy tomorrow, Emma. Incidentally, Edward's not here. He turns out doing important investigations. I hope that's what he's doing. Huh? Guess we'll have to come back. February 23rd, Police Department entrance. It's even busier here today than it was yesterday. The detectives are running around so fast they're blurry. So it makes sense that Detective did get killed here after all. So the evidence are the scene of the crime. According to the pamphlet we got at the front desk. Here it is. It's like a kid in an amusement park. Oh, a real crime scene. Let's go take a look. Can I go take a look? I can. Guards, criminal affairs, and guard station. February 23rd, evidence room, entrance, guard station. What's with the decor in this place? It's very eccentric. According to the pamphlet, this is the guard station for the evidence room. So beyond that door is the evidence room, the scene of the crime? It sure seems that way. Oh, oh! What's wrong? It's those cacti! They're so prickly, so imposing, it's hard to think straight. If you can't handle the cacti, stay out of the desert. What I want to know is, if this is a guard station, where is the guard? I don't feel like I know who he is already. Yikes! These sure are prickly. They must be the real deal. I would think just one... A big one would be sufficient. These cacti are a lot like my sister, actually. How so? She's a cold, rigid shell with spines in every direction. Just like her. I'm not so sure I see the resemblance. It's more an attitude thing than a sim physical similarity. I was speaking metaphorically. Gosh! The security guard uniform hanging he here. It's more like a costume than a uniform, actually, honestly. A leather jacket, leather pants, a leather... What was that called again? A punchy? Punchy? Pinchy? I know, a poochie. Um... Wait, maybe that wasn't it. It's a poncho, but I think I'll keep that information to myself for the time being. I see... I guess that's supposed to be a wine. But I guess we don't care about that. A computer? So there's a video feed from the evidence room here. There's a light blinking below the monitor. It says recording. I think we can use this computer to check on who went in and out of there. 
evidence room is beyond that door. Let's just walk in. It won't open. You thought it'd be open. I think we need someone's permission to go in there first. Or we could just slide our detective's ID card in this key re reader. Well, let's go check. Oh, I can't go to criminal affairs from here? That's dumb. <laughs> I wonder if that's got been fixed in the in the later ports. February twenty third, police dis, uh, station, Criminal Affairs Department. Ah, uh, everyone looks deadly serious here. Oh, that was sufficient. This murder of a detective down with the police department. Yes, but the same detective was also killed at the same time in the prosecutor's lot. Uh, it makes my head hurt. All of our sins first. Let's go check out the police department crime scene. You sound so dead set on investigating. But don't mess up or we could wind up dead. I thought anyone wants more mysteries or dead bodies around here right now. Pardon me, I had an itch on my beard. That Venus doesn't have. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's going to help us much. Uh, here's gonna help as much anyway. Detention center! February 23rd, detention center visitor's room. It's a disguise in question. I hope the detectives aren't yelling at her. How did they kill him and two at the same time? Can you imagine? How is she supposed to answer that? Wait a second. Didn't Mr. Gant say they arrested a suspect in the d police department murder? Let's come back later. Right and go law offices? I'm... mean to do that. Detention, not detention center. Uh, do I present the loophole to you, maybe? Uh, 
Uh, no, you couldn't have, actually, because the chain link fit fence in the foreground. So you went straight to the scene of the crime. The first box chain link fits in the to stop the murder. That's why I took this photo, yes. In other words, in other words, five minutes after the crime? Those five minutes of the whole problem. The whole of my testimony. The five minutes worth of problem is story you blame. The problem. Listen, Senator, I have my testimony disregarded. I'm also going to have it disregarded again. Just like that time. That time. Ah! Finally! Thank goodness! That incident really opened my eyes to the truth. Or nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable? To who? Two years ago, it was the biggest case I'd ever had. Handled. Handled. The police and the prosecutors were desperate for decisive evidence. So they didn't solve it? On the contrary, it was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. Executed? Yes, the criminal got him was going to do it. doesn't get any cleaner than that. The problem was, I never did find decisive evidence. Not a shred. Was executed, right? On the basis of evidence, it was sold. Made up evidence. What? You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? The best part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case was dealt with. Some of them went to patrol, and others found themselves out of, di out of a job. And you were one of those? Myself and one other person in the world. Disappeared, we find new evidence. There has to be a connection. So, Ricky. What? It seems like you're serious about investigating this case. Yes. Then you should take this. A Salisbury steak lunchbox? And a certain guy who might help you if you tempt him with this treat. Steak lunch received from the store. Oh, the store? I can check the lunch. That's hilarious. Wow, you know this water. You see the sun from the sink right on the ground. That was all cold to talk about. No, but I don't know. It's just delicious. It's just so good and hard in the
That's why the sauce is so salty. Okay, now that we're finally done with that... Oh, I think I may have forgotten to watch the last one. Oh, well. February 23rd, Police Department entrance. This place has changed a bit. Excuse me. This place is... I yawned, and I also read. This place is charged with fabric. Uh, frantic energy. As always. Please! Huh? What's that? Wants to clutch, please! Oh, it's you! Is this a gum? Now's no time! Chit chat! Oh, I'm a busy man! What I really need is a stick clutch for lunch. Oh, you need one of these? Actually, it's not for sale. I think I just heard the sound of his heartbreak. Now's no time for this man! We got our criminal! Now we just need evidence! You heard about the stabbing in the police department evidence room, right, pal? On the same day that a detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? And the perpetrator, do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect, just arrested him, in fact. That's the biggest scandal that the station in ages. Everything starts to tell me. But detective got you. I said, pal, all I know is I need me to stick hooked pronto. Sitting around here talking isn't gonna fill my belly. Wait, don't you mean? If you wanna know more, head on down to the next center. Most drinks will be almost on finger hits down there having a good cry. Later! He ran off to the evidence room. Oh, never mind. I guess we have to go to Criminal Affairs first. Not Criminal Affairs, uh, the Detention Center first. Right, cool. Offices, move to Detention Center. I, oh, I was gonna say, I can't move to the Detention Center? February 23rd, Detention Center, Visitors Room. Still, I do feel pe better about these. A little. I mean, they thought the pursuit of Stab Detective Goodman, didn't they? Uh, yeah, I guess they did. Let's not to go too far down that road right now. Things will just get confusing. What was that? There! That's what I'm saying! Me! A perpetrator? I'd say, yeah, I was the perpetrator again, sir! That's all what I'd say! Oh, uh, hi! Greetings, sir! Wait, I know who you are! Excuse me, but it's Mr. Edward, uh, and we're on the premises. I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I got your report, sir. Officer oh, Meekins, so you're a guardian of the detention center? No, sir, I'm not, sir. I'm a little lost patrolman. Like a little lost lamb, sir. Oh, I think you're here to deliver a report? No, sir, I, uh, how should I say this? Wait, he isn't. Is he? You, Officer Meekins, you didn't. Did you? Uh, Perpetrator Officer Meek is reporting, sir! What? What? This is an unexpected turn of events. Also, I'm gonna scoop closer to my mic. Because I just realized I'm very far away from it. I might have to turn myself up. Um, everything. I will draw on the tail of there, sir! Ow, I can hear you fine, Officer Meekins. I had some mess, mess that day, sir. It's over to the evidence room, sir. I think I was standing in front of the room was empty, sir. So normally there's a guard at the evidence room? That's right, sir. Because the evidence is kept in the evidence room, sir. No security, no, the security officer was out of the Officer Marshall. 
Marshall? That's where I happened to glance at the security rooms. Monitor. That's what I saw him, sir. A suspicious person in the evidence room. A suspicious person, sir! A suspicious person, yo! Yeah! What the heck is this guy doing? So what happened then? That's alright! Uh, everything went white! I saw red! I blacked out! When I came to, I was here in the detention center! How long were you out? Days? Um, might I ask what happened to your hand? Sir, there was no one to bandage me, sir! So I did what I could to wrap it up, sir! Just like Miss Sky. Yet another similarity between this case and the one of the prosecutor's office. First things first. Tell us something. First things first. Tell us how you hurt your hand. About your hand. Did that happen during the course of the crime? What do you say, sir? I, uh. Don't you think you should just confess? But, sir! Sir! But! There was nothing I could do! Nothing you could do? Sir, to tell the truth! Sir, what happened? Well, the, the detective pointed that knife at me. And I just hollered, sir! That's like I knew I, I was unconscious! I think you knew you were. Huh? Then when I opened my eyes, there was alone in the evidence room, sir! All alone! All alone because. Because Detective Goodman had disappeared! What? What? Then when I looked down, I was gushing blood from my hand, sir. Oh, the shock! Oh, the sorrow! Oh, sir! Get you imagine how it felt? The victim's body disappeared? Hmm. That's some story. That's some story. Uh, I don't mean to pry, but you are the perpetrator, right? You have to put him in the evidence room, right? Sir! Please don't look at me with those sad puppy dog eyes, sir! If you had to label me as a perpetrator or a victim, sir! To label me the victim! I would, but you happen to be in detention and alive and well at that. Oh, yes, well, that's true, sir. I suppose you could say that. Well, sir, if I had to label this stranger or total stranger, that's at least heavily on the total stranger side! So, you didn't know him? Sir, I work in a tiny department devoid of light and other creature- or other creature converts. I don't know any detectives! So, if he was a total stranger, why did you stab him? Sir, I, I have no intention of killing him, sir, none! No, do I have any recollection of killing him, sir? At least someone around here is more confused than I am. Uh. Oh, it's getting here nice, sir! Sir, in my dreams, sir. I know. I was an apple, sir, in my dreams. Sir. And I was being peeled. But second thought, you don't want to look at the knife. He's a ratchet to the knife, but I guess he's been through a lot. Oh, sir, can you take a look at this? I'm sorry, sir. I really, really, really sorry, but I have no idea what that is. How <laughs> dare uh, Excuse me, sir. It's a little dusty in here. Maybe you should ask Mr. Edgeworth, sir. He's passing the butt, Mr. Wright. He's a special kind of man to pass the butt to Edgeworth. Alright. Bye, Meekins. Guess let's go to Criminal Affairs? Then to the evidence? Okay, I had to go to Criminal Affairs to go to the entrance to go to the... Guard station. Hmm. Still nothing. Um, D. 
you think you can take a look at this? Hey, that's it, sir, that's it! That's it! That's what? Man, it was a blank until this very moment. But sir, now I remember. Er, I remember, sir. You mean you remember what happened? Correct! That card! That card was the cause of it all! This ID card? It's Atsai, sir! That's exactly it! Nothing can be more than sir! Nothing! I into this one a little deeper. I hit the wrong button. Can you tell me what it is that you do remember? Well, sir, you might say I'm a little lost patrol man. I'm a little lost lamb, if you will. Mr. Detective Goodman. Uh, I didn't know Mr. Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. And that's why. And that's why he thought he looked suspicious. So I entered the evidence room and asked the man to show me his ID card. Oh, that's. That was pretty much by the books so far. And th that's right, sir. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So he asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What did he do? That's the thing! Suddenly he pointed a knife at me! What? Sir, I assure you I was as flustered as you are right now. So I walked and looked at him. Is it good that pointed a knife at him? Don't know them before they do it to you! My father's own word, sir! What happened then? Well... Man, I sir, everything went white. When I awoke, I was here! Right. Officer Meekins, why is it that they arrested you? What do you mean, Emma? Let's look at what we know. Now, Officer Meekins didn't notice it's a Goodman. And the victim whom he met at the scene of the crime didn't show his ID card. In other words, we have no way of knowing that the detective, that the victim was really the, uh, really the victim. Did this body just disappear from the evidence room? I don't even know if anyone actually died. That's it, sir! That, that's what I wanted to say! That is, I did say something along those lines. Huh? You still ended up here? You told me that it had to be him, sir. On that day, at that time, the judge of Goodman was definitely in the evidence room. That's what they said. But you don't remember the events clearly. No, but the videotape is quite clear. Huh? Videotape? From the security camera. The crime, my crime, the crime I swore to stay about. It's there, it's me, it's on the tape. <gasps> if you waited until now to tell us this? I'm really sorry, sir. I'll hand over my badge. I don't deserve it. No thanks, I have my own. Um, guess we better go check out the crime scene. Go to the police department entrance to go to the guard room station. Can I? What? Okay, what am I missing then? Criminal affairs? February 23rd, police station, criminal affairs department. Hey, Mr. Wright! Look who's standing at the chief of detectives' desk! It's Police Chief Gant. Gant. And you're sure this is all. <laughs> you know what it means if there's anything missing. Sir, I'm sure it's most likely totally perfect. We checked all of his drawers and lockers, lockers, garbage cans, bags, coat pockets, hats. Under his seat cushion, behind his computer monitor, inside his personal coffee machine. I see. Well, if anything does turn up, you call me right away, you. Yes, sir. We'll scour the place again, sir. Chief Tetis is looking a little flustered. <laughs> right on, my boy. How you been, Swimmer? Oh, ho, ho, Chief Gant. Reporting for duty, sir. Why are you saluting him, Mr. Wright? Oh, 
Um, it's going to be okay. Oh, what are they? Oh, well, there's a little inquiry committee with them. Sounds like an inquisition. Yep, well, they've had no end of trouble with the boy since last year. It doesn't look good having a top prosecutor sit in the defendant seat, does it? And you, you got someone else found guilty in that case, right, Rito? Pon Karma. Along with Yanni Yoki. A legend he was, undefeated in his 40 year career. But in court, you fixed it so he was caught for forging evidence. Wait, I didn't do anything wrong. He did forge evidence. In any case, the prosecutor's office is in a bit of turmoil, you might say. Why they do just about anything to restore their reputation. Now, depending on what the inquiry committee decides, it could be bad for Worthy. What? It's downright odd, I tell you. The detectives are getting killed on their turf, too, I mean. They're being prosecutors. Scientifically speaking, that's impossible. Yes, but that's what the evidence is saying. Good will stand in two locations at the same time. That's what it says. What evidence is this? Now, now, right. I can't just give away all our secrets like that. In this particular, well, it's a little sensitive, but I can't talk about it. It's not too much anyway. You know one thing I hate most of all is hiding some secrets. I can't stand them. Before, but you know. It's a full-time job just keeping the sheep. Detective's trap shot. Ah, he was the one you were picking on earlier? Oh, huh? you saw that? Whoops. I wonder what it was the chief detective's doing. Let's see if we can kind of discreetly ask him. I'm over three, moving along. <laughs> uh, entrance? Nope. Same the day of the murder. I really should get back to investigating the police department crime scene. I need five something. Wait, did he lose his ID? Yeah, cause it's more- it's crossed out! Also, are you kidding me? I- s <laughs> I had to move from criminal affairs to the entrance to go to the guard room. Guard station. And I still can't- 
Mr. Titan, are you kidding me? Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Well, I know. I thought the day would come when Roberto asked me for help. I was wondering if we could investigate the evidence room. No, Roberto. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. I d don't need to investigate after all. Roberto, please, do I look like a selfish man? Heck, if anyone asks me, sir, can I borrow $50? I'd give them $50, no problem. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's content. Knock yourself out. It just goes to show you never know until you ask. Here, here, for you, you can borrow this. Uh, hey, this is a detective's ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. Yes, sir, it's an honor. You run along. You can do your best now. Play your folks. my lapel, doesn't it? Just like a real ID. You seem happy. Yes, sir! Because, sir, her, we can get into the evidence room now, sir. I think this place is a bad influence on the girl. Along with Meekins. Alright, let's finally go to the guard station. We've been running around in circles. Oh, my word. What do you mean? Hang on, let me check the cord and see if I... Computers and files on each one. Funny, I expect it to be a lot tired here. I guess judges don't spend a lot of time at their desks. Oh, sorry, you had to see that. Oh, uh, let's, let's desk. this. Get something. Complete. Uh, February 20th. Yep. Okay, same thing. Um, detention center? I have no idea what that is! Put the underground 
around parking lot? Do I... I'm missing something. going to the guard station is not what I'm supposed to do here, even though it's definitely what I'm supposed to do here. Let me examine the lasso on the ground. Look on the floor, lasso! Hmm, let's get some traps on a trap here? Wait, I know! Maybe someone was trying to catch a wild bull in here, but the lasso missed! You sure have an active imagination. Swinging door mates. The place looks like some kind of saloon. But look, it's nailed shut. You can't get in that way. Of course not. If you went in through here, the cactus would fall over. Ouch! It'd be more of a yarg myself. Yeah, Mr. Rose beyond that door. We got the ID card from Chief Gen. Let's just walk in. It won't open. Aha! The card reader is turned off. What is that security guard thinking? How fun is Well, well, what's made my Bambina sky so great? Uh, Officer Marshall, doesn't have to be him. What's that? Why does it have to be him? Yeehaw! That guy you got there on your chest. That's been the sheriff's badge in these parts. Yeehaw! Well, what is standing? Get alone and do some crime scenes away. There's a car going on again. Oh, we're here. I was wondering if we could ask you some questions. Sorry, cowboy, but I got nobody to tell with you. wife gave you this. This man. Ah, reminds me of Texas. So, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? No, I just saw a special on television the other day. Is this from my baby? Uh, yeah, Miss Star. What's this? What? What's wrong? They stay close. I see. I see. I don't see. Well, I wonder what it means. Stay close to give to Officer Marshall. All right, baby. You win. <laughs> Finally, it seems like he's willing to talk. <sighs> Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? You got a good ass, Marshall. It's not an easy job, and I'm grateful. It's an easy job, and I'm grateful. Actually, that's the Officer Meekin's intelligence center for us. Alright, that poor little doggy. Poor guy, I keep getting his name all wrong. We call him Meekin. He told us something. He said that when the stabbing occurred, you wanted your safety. Maybe I shouldn't be telling you this, but since I got demoted from detective two years ago, well, I might, it might not look it, but I lost the fire for the job, you see, you know. 
so what were you doing at around 515 when the murder took place? Well, I reckon I was galloping down the highway on the back of my steed zippy. No, he was riding down on the highway on his horse named Zippy. There's no need for people here at hell. These newfangled machines do a bang up job of keeping an eye on the place. You mean the security camera system? I don't take to machines much. Kinda like that stew broth and the sneak in this state, you know. Let's talk about the security system first. I know there's maybe two of the machines in here. Only two of them? There must be a dozen. Like I said, man. list of other people IDs here. Oh. 
sorry, but could you, could you explain this whole, what this whole transfer thing was about? We keep all the evidence from solved cases. And I've got here under the presiding detective's supervision of the uh, two years. So we can reinvestigate them if it turns out that it's a mistake to see. So what happens to the evidence after two years? Forever in the underground vault of the county sheriff's department. That's what we call transfer. Room. I want to see if I can, since we're still, since we've been running around in circles this entire time, present with you. Should we look at this? No, no I will not. I know I hear glitchy audio when I hear it. Or I should say I know glitchy audio when I hear it. February 23rd, Evidence Room, Sector 3. It's quiet. The investigation must be over. So this is the evidence room? It really is kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This is more like a morgue. Nice try, Mr. Wright. You can't scare me. <coughs> wow! So sorry, I thought you were a ghost. I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts on the head, pal. So was it true what I heard? Righto, oh, please, do I look like a selfish man? Yeah, if anyone asks me, sir, can I borrow fifty dollars? I give them fifty dollars, no problem. Sure, so go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's desire. Knock yourself out. Yeah, it's true. So chief of police get will loan anyone fifty bucks, even me. Oh, so that's what you were talking about. Actually, I was put in charge of the investigation for Just for me. Just for me. But guess what? You got the message from the chief. So now your boss for a First of all, you want to have this. Exactly. Tell me much. Had this. Can you take all of this? This is the 
a detailed record of people who came in here on the, on the day of the ship. Ah, uh, I heard the rumors. So I just had some good ones who came in here at the time of the murder. Whoa! What is it? Uh, that second number. The first number's more, uh huh. Wait, Megan's goes in and comes back like 20 minutes later? Huh. Is that your ID number? Is it come to? Mr. Edgeworth! What? That second number on this list. Belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. What? What? Why would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? So, Mr. Jones, your boss fell today? That's right. It's an honor. After all the murders in place here, right here in the police department. But if you're a boss. Why are you all alone? Where are your other ones? They're using yesterday's findings to prepare for tomorrow's trial. In other words, you got kicked out of the investigation. Okay. I'm adamant, though. I'm gonna take control and put this case to rest. In my own evidence, look at that. I'm wondering if you're changing your attention to Haha, of course! I am an attachment to They gave me a locker that only I can open now. Only you can open? This is more high tech than you might think. Every lockout fits so there's only one detective can Using their ID card? Well, that's the thing now. ID cards can be lost. My ammo, my thoughts, is entering the force already. That sounds like a lot. Yeah, but even I can't lose my own right hand. Right hand? Oh! You mean your fingerprint? Exactly, pal. A lock for each locker is coated with a fingerprint. Locker we can open is our own. Funny, they look like normal lockers. These are the latest model. There's a trick to the handles, see? The handles? On the other side of the handles is a sensor, and at the wrong one, it touches it. Sam, you gave a shot! If that's what happened, my hand would be black and broken every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. You know, there are even some about the fingerprint locks. I'll always believe in Mr. Edgeworth, no matter what happens. So, Mr. Edgeworth is with the inquiry committee right now, right? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess up in court today. I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. Yeah, that case, the SL9 incident, of course. That was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case. Well, before we do that, I saw some stuff that we need to examine. Ooh, hello, bloody handprint. And... Okay, so first and foremost, go up on... There you go, pal. Make me on case I've got an answer by the detective. That's evidence from the case. You know. Well, that's important. Open on the red 
indicates the light about the door is lit. That lock is coated with Detective Goodman's finger. Detective Goodman's lock? Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we closed it. Detective Goodman must have taken Goodman's elsewhere. He does have a point. There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of hole again. That, that's apparently from the case. The case? Yes, yeah, all nine. Is it the sticker on one of the pieces there? Another piece of that's all nine, I mean. Let's take another look. I don't know what you think these pieces were in before whatever it was broke. You want to try to put it back together? Ha! Huh, good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Why, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. That's why I always carry around a tube of glue. Oh, well, this piece looks at the bottom. Let's try putting uh, the rest in place. Alright, um... Ah, there we go. Okay. I got that far too. Who in two minutes myself? The problem is finishing. Were some pieces stolen? I bet they were missing to begin with. Death. Doesn't look like the most stable kind of job. I can't kind of understand how it got broken. Unstable jar added to court record. Hey, look! I 
look out for those dark red stains you can It's like, what? Do you think that there's a good one? Spots and more red stains? Oh, there's one with a This? Blood! It's a little warm, but there's definitely a handprint here. So someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright! What if there are other blood stains left in the room? We should use our testing to find out. Alright, well, let's talk about the SL9 incident. 
Now that was a bloody violent case. So it was a murder. A serial killer. This was two years ago? That put the signature right in the spot. It started to work. Rumors about four sevens. That was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transfer the other day. That was the last job he ever did. This is a gun. The government was the defender in charge of the SL9. So, so, that's what we know. The detective took me up. The detective took the knife out of the evidence like that, so. I have no idea what this is! Oops, from I I glanced away from I glanced at my recording time and uh Wait, what is this claw sticking out of this feet this long? 
on her. Something's sticking out of here. Is it a shirt? I guess it must be a hundred from some case. Or is it just a ghost? Hey, go, pal, make me didn't have to be some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That said, I bet that evidence locker was always decent. At least they take out like that. The evidence gets me dirty or crap. The guard turns on that kind of stuff and notifies the detectives and we're responsible. How many times have I, uh, I had that man breathing down my neck about some silly evidence? Sounds like just a ghost. And there's evidence that you can't a lot too. I bet he doesn't take the shirt under the trench coat either. You're gonna fall behind someone's back, don't do it right in front of them now. Blood, we, we... Already sprayed that. Paint. Oh! Uh, hold on. There's eight games in the Japanese room, you know. Wolverine 6. Shows the same from the Ranta place. Quite a guess in Wolverine's game. It's not a game. Unless you're the security guard responsible. Are you kidding me? I'm masterpiece, you might say. But Lord is always a stone pal. What? He was dancing proudly on the day of the award ceremony. But there were a lot of people coming and going after this ceremony. So it's just a blue patch on me. Really? Why? All the said it was shameful. Shameful! I toiled night and day! I sympathize with, the det with Detective Gumchi, but I can see why they moved it. I don't think we've spoken to him about SO9, right?
Maybe I missed something back at the. Maybe I missed a blood stain back at the uh, parking place or whatever. At that parking garage. Parking lot, whatever. inquiry committee should be letting out, so I'm gonna go give him my report uh, for the day. It might help, you know. Report? You mean the note written on the back of that flyer? The one that says nothing but no problems? Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure he could use a report like this. I believe in him. Who needs enemies when you got friends like Detective Gumshoe? I'm off, pal. Later. I should probably see what Edward has to say to you. Back to the prosecutor's office. Please be here. Thank goodness. February 23rd, High Prosecutor's Office, room 1202. The- Ah, uh, yes. My apologies. Oh, it's you! Have we met somewhere? Huh? Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave. So long. Is Edgeworth here? There, standing by the window- Oh, a teacup in his hand. Right. He has the hotel bring him tea service? Mr. Edgeworth, do you mind from the district the prosecutor's office inquiry? I am. Um... By the way, Detective Gumshoe is looking for you. 
Ah, oh, yes. You brought me the latest information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? Apparently, a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to get sold me somehow. Um, the real info is on the other side, it's worth. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think this whole thing is really taking a toll on him. Committee go. Actually, they decided not to treat this as a case of concealing evidence. It was a communications error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes, apparently there was some who believed that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time. Again. Again? I've heard them say that so many times. And this is that case two years ago. SL9, right? I know you. You probably get a hold of some information already, right? It all has to do, it all has to do with that case you were on. The SL9 incident. And some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. You are the man who revived the worst memory of my life. I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. He must be talking about his father's murder in that elevator. Okay, Edgeworth, why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. First, let's talk about tomorrow's trial. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still presenting a prosecutor against her. However, something that happened? Take your control of the investigation over to the police department. The police? The police department? Yes, any further investigation of this case was directed by the chief police guard. I can do nothing but look for his results. I see. Why, I ask you why? All along, all I've, I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still, I've never seen him this out of sorts. The SL9 incident was a heinous serial killing case. The head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time, Damon Gant. That wacky old kid was involved in the case two years ago, too. He was a top officer, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth? What I want to know is why was a deputy chief of police on the investigation? In truth, they used slightly more extreme methods than normal. We were dealing with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We were not guilty of murder, and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't. Of course not! I didn't touch the evidence. I will do anything in my power to win a trial. However, I do have a code, and I follow it faithfully. Oh, hey, what's the deal with your ID being on this? Oh, right, I better check this right now. Uh, this now. As I was saying, I. <gasps> What's this? A record of ID card usage? It you went into the evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. That's a third. That's 30 minutes. Actually, more than 30 minutes. <laughs> that's not right before. That? I was asked to go, like you've got no luck, got no luck. The chief of police? You wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. You told me you wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. But it was all right. You're not to the evidence is already filed. The chief is never one to explain himself. You made me hear some of the stabbings I brought this back here. Can I ask what case it was? I can't say. It really has nothing to do with the current case. Now it has to be the case. I better make a note of it. Screwdriver added to court record. Stop as always, I told you this has nothing to do with the current case. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. My sister? What? 
if you were still studying in forensic science. Huh? Yes, of course! Why, just today, Mr. Wright and I were using this. A little testing fluid, hmm? Okay. You might have uh, use for this. Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints! Let's be chemically treated for better adhesion. For, for me? Are you sure? We are the enemy, you know. I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. At first, I'm really... No need to thank me. Hey, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. Uh, uh, thanks. How about giving these to Detective Gumshoe as well? Oh, come on, right? You know he's incompetent. Well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. I do seem to remember seeing a suspicious handprint. I want to examine the screwdriver here. And it says AI Marshall's gone as well. Evidence room it is. February 23rd, evidence room, sector 3. Our investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. Here, in this blood on the detective room's evidence locker. Let's use the secret weapon we've just borrowed. Great, right, let's get started. Curse, choose a finger. Each finger leads behind a slightly different imprint. So let's choose the finger that will have the cleanest print. I really can't tell the difference in the plans. Go procrastinating and choose a finger! How's about these faded ones down here? I don't have the option to choose those, are you kidding me? Unplug my headset for this. Uh. It might take some getting used to it, though. It's fine. It will come on your nose or anything. You just pull the power on the thing and pull away the extra. Those are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Ryan. Guess I'm gonna give it a try. to the mic receiver for my 3DS. Jeez. What does it mean? I think it means we're out of luck. Out of luck? The person with this hamper must have worn gloves. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. Hey, calm down. That's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But it does seem a shame. Alright, why don't we look for other prints? Other prints? 
look at the locker again closely. It seems to have fingerprints outside the body handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Fingerprints outside the blood. isn't part of anything. I don't think any later games utilize this mechanic. Oh, what? Oh. oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, go back. For some reason, the print super cleared up. I guess it was registering my talking? I'm perfectly fine with that because I really dislike this particular part of the game. Yep! Yeah, it's so clear, it's dazzling. Dazzling? Anyway, you, this print took a lot of effort to find. Let's mess it up right away. It looks like... You know, it's funny, my... That looks like an index fingerprint. Well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? I guess he's right. Look at the fingerprint data we got from Mr. Edward. And point out the person... Uh, you think like the prince? Huh? How am I supposed to do that to know who it was? I can make a pretty good guess. The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in different places, right? That means the prince probably don't have anything to do with our case. So who's fingerprints? But we most likely find them on this evidence locker. Yep, that's good. his locker we opened it, right? Comparison complete. Match found. Aha! So these prints belong to Detective Gumshoe. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me this so what look. I guess it's probably because I was thinking so what. Okay, I guess so we can't come up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. You gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Wright. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait, I remember correctly. There was one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out. I thought we were gonna do that one from the beginning. I didn't remember this tutorial. Oh, 
Oh, that's what the really lawyer happened tapping on my screen if it's being picked up by the mic. But holy crap, this is <laughs> no other game that I can remember in this series does this, which is fine with me, I mean. These fingerprints, they... Whose are they? Whose? Is it someone I know? It's Officer Marshall. Huh? Uh, Officer Tate Marshall? Marshall's fingerprints have to be corporate. That's gotta be coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. And, uh, this is decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's fingerprints. The normal reaction, the blood and the fingerprints are in the same place. Oh. But why would Officer Marshall? It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. I guess this is what you'd call decisive evidence. I... I don't believe it. To be continued. Phoenix Wright.